Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love Watch the Story and today I'm back with another video and this is going to be an interesting one because the legendary ROMs are back, the noble ROMs and they are really great. This time we have the noble ROM Note 8 port and this is the beta version 2 so we're just gonna install that and we're gonna see there are a few bugs in this ROM but I might like it but the noble ROMs are just great except for the battery life so we're gonna test out the node 8 port beta version 2 so to install this rom we're just gonna first of all turn off our device so when the device is turned off we're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key and now we're gonna go in wipe and we're gonna select the advanced wipe and we're gonna select the dialvik art cache system data and cache and we're gonna swipe to wipe and now we're gonna come out over here and we're gonna go in install and we're gonna select the nn8e beta 2 the node 8 port ok zip and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash so the rom does come with a roma installer so you might have some customizations here and there and you have the noble rom logo and we're gonna agree to this next and it says that known bugs are the resolution changer you cannot change your resolution down to 1080p it is a little bit buggy and the touch light keys over here these two lights in the recent apps key and the back key they may not work and there is a lock screen delay so we're gonna see what that actually is so next next and we're gonna clean install which is really recommended and I'm gonna select my model number which is the G925F and next and here you can select TRCSC so I'm just gonna find the INS over here and I'm gonna go in the DBD because the INS show in the DBT so you have more CSEs in this DBT going in the DBT so here it is the INS unbranded and we're gonna select that next and now you have the CSE mods that you want if you want to install so first of all you have camera during call enables camera calling camera while calling can be used during so you can uh, use your camera even when uh, you are on the phone so I'm gonna select that and the second one is the camera shutter which enables an option in the camera settings that uh, if you wanna enable the shutter sound or not so I'm gonna select that and the air messages I don't really like so I'm not gonna add that the SMS backup I don't really need so it backups your SMSs so I don't really need it and the SMS to MMS conversion I don't really need because no one uses SMS anymore and more SMS options I don't really need call blocking I really do need because of all these promotional calls and I don't really need to see my network speed and the LTE only so it enables the LTE only mode in the connections like you have the 2G only or 3G only so you can also have the LTE only connection setting so I'm not gonna use that too so I'm gonna go with the smart manager tweaks so it enables various things like uh, app log traffic manager and all so I'm gonna use that and you have something called recent app protection which I don't really know what it is so I'm not gonna install that too and you have the data usage I'm not gonna use that too and I might need the call recorder so I'm gonna use that and the advanced Wi-Fi I do need because I really use Wi-Fi direct so I'm gonna select that and you have the options of multi-user which I don't really think anyone uses anymore and you also have this uh, disable SPCM app killer which does not kill your applications and let them be in the memory for longer periods so I'm not gonna use that too so next and here you can install the features that you want so I'm gonna go with accessibility functions the edge features the push services and the installer is being very weird right now so i'm gonna select the samsung cloud s finder stk app tool all share wi-fi direct and all and uh, i would say the sound alive if the rom does not come with the wi profile right it might come in handy so i'm gonna go with the ussd codes the secure folder samsung bixby always on display browser calculator app calendar clock 
Galaxy App Store, Music, My Files, and Weather, Smart Manager, and Next. And you have the uh, options over here. So Alexa Dual Speaker Mod, Surround Mod. What it does is this speaker over here, which is used for in-call audio, the headset one. It converts it into a loudspeaker as well, giving you a surround kind of feel a stereo speaker kind of feel so i'm not gonna select that if you want an extra speaker for your device you can enable that but i don't really need that too so i'm gonna go with the android o emojis over here and i would go with the stock font so next over here and the rom is installing now and it will take around two to three minutes so i'll be back when the rom is done installing so guys that rom is done installing so we're gonna press next over here unlock the device and reboot the system so guys the device is booting now and it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to boot up so i'm just gonna put my device aside and i'll be back once it is done booting the device so guys the device is booted up and it booted up faster than i thought it would so we're just gonna quickly set it up and the first thing i notice is that the whole font and all of the things are really small and I do really like that because it makes the screen feel a little bigger than it actually is so that is really great so I'm just gonna quickly set it up now So guys the device is all booted up now and it feels really fast and I have not done anything to this ROM. I It just booted up and it is like that. So that is really great but I am facing this. Uh, it is not getting any reception right now, no network connection. So what I am going to do is I am going to try and flash that Volti FX and that might fix this. So, um, so uh, that would be reported in the review. So. Let's go into the settings and in the about device I am getting the model number of the Note 8 and I am also getting the Android version 7.1.1 so finally in the S6 Edge I have the Android version 7.1.1 so the latest nougat from Samsung out right now and the Samsung Experience version 8.5 and you have all those settings over here let's get out and the ROM feels great and the camera application here it is and you also have the Bixby vision all these camera modes so in the first glance it looks really really great so I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys